What's going on guys? This is Burrs. I'm here to talk to you today about what are the best scope rings you can get for hunting and pretty much anything else. So as you've seen in videos in the past in regard to like my ammunition testing, the video I talked about, my Winchester Model 70 and the setup I have for that, and my SPR, my AR-15, which I set up as an SPR with an 18 inch barrel, I use Badger Ordnance a lot. And there's a reason for that. And the reason is they're the best. Now when I say the best, what I mean is they're a top tier company. They're the 1% when it comes to making parts in the gun game. Now you might see some other videos out there maybe in regards to like lapping your rings and stuff like that. The one thing you don't have to worry about when you buy a quality part is exactly that. You don't have to worry about screwing around with it. You screw it onto the base and you put your scope in it and you just screw it down and you're good to go. And that's the one thing you don't have to worry about when you buy a quality part. It's gonna be a little more expensive, obviously, but what you're gonna get in the end is something that's gonna be there for the long run. You know, I buy quality parts and I get quality parts because I want this to hand down through my family. You know, that model Winchester Model 70 that I spoke of, you know, I want this to hand down to my family and that's why I have Badger Ordnance on the base and on the scope rings. Now, what I have on here is something I just put on. I put low profile rings on here because I wanted to get the scope down a little bit. What I originally had on there was the medium one. So I took these off and I thought this was a good opportunity to talk to you about Badger Ordnance scope rings. So the ones I previously had on my Winchester Model 70 were made of steel. These are made of aluminum, 6061 aluminum. So they're a little bit lighter and the steel is made for more of a hardcore application, say military. Whereas in my usage, aluminum is perfectly fine. I'm gonna lose a little bit of weight, but I'm not gonna lose strength. Uh, you can see that there's a nice width on the walls here. It's one thing you have to look for with scope rings is the width of the walls that you're gonna have. And when you see some other ones out there, you'll see some really thin walls. And what that's gonna to lead to, it's gonna to lead to inaccuracy over the long run. The accuracy you have seen with these rings, with the SPR mount, the uni mount I've reviewed in the past from Badger Ordnance is absolutely exceptional. And even recently I went to the range with my girlfriend and I grabbed my SPR upper, which has been sitting in my uh, gun case for a really long time. I took it off because I'm building a new uh, AR-15 upper. I took it to the range because I thought it's something she might like to shoot because she's new to shooting and uh, threw it back on the upper I'm sorry, threw it back on the lower and it was clicking off uh, <laughs> uh, sub MOA right from the get-go, you know, right from throwing it back on there. So as far as keeping your, uh, your zero, keeping your, your point of aim and all that, uh, it obviously does that, you know, over the long run. Uh, I moved that upper around a lot and uh, threw it back on the lower and bam, I was shooting, you know, sub MOA very, very easily. Even she was which is, you know, the first time she's ever shot at 100 yards, uh, she was shooting, you know, one MOA or right around one MOA, which is pretty crazy. So that goes to, you know, say that she's a good shooter. She's had good training and uh, she's listened to the things I've told her, not saying I'm the best shooter, but, you know, I uh, can click off, you know, half sub, a half MOA with my testing of certain ammunitions. Uh, I think I have a good foundation and, uh, you know, the rifles, that we were using were obviously good rifles. And obviously the setup of the optics with the Badger Ordnance mounts were also exceptional. So what do you wanna look for? Now, when you're looking for good scope rings, like I said, you wanna look at the width, the wall width all the way around the scope ring. You wanna have a good foundation for your um, mounting on the base. So like, as you can see here, this is a good big nut. Mmm, love big nuts especially these, <laughs> but uh, you have a good connection to the base. And as you can see, it's a nice robust connection. Um, you're gonna have some people out there that say you have to you know, uh, have a torque wrench and all this other stuff, but all you gotta remember is for the majority of scope rings out there, if not all of them, get it finger tight. So put it on the base, wiggle it around and finger tight. You wanna get all the wobble out of it. And then all you gotta do is go one quarter to one third of a turn and you're good to go at around 60 to 65 foot pounds of torque on there. So you can use a socket, you can use a wrench, just do a quarter to one third of a turn and you're good to go. 
So obviously these are gonna be made in the USA. They're made of Badger ordnance, made in the USA. They stand behind their parts. You have any kind of issues, you know, contact them, they're gonna take care of you. You know, Badger ordnance is known for making precision parts. Our military is known for using Badger ordnance on their precision rifles. Um, they're known for that. And that's the one reason I stick by them. That's the one reason I use them. If our military is using them and people I talk to are using them that are in the military, that are in very specialized uh, units, then you know that's good enough for me. If it's good enough for them to uh, you know protect our nation. As far as price goes, you're obviously gonna spend a little bit more. You're getting a precision part. You're getting something that's gonna last for a very, very long time. Um, you know, you're looking at about a buck 50 for these, somewhere around there. So you're gonna put a little bit of money into them, but what you're gonna get is in the long run, something that's gonna last a long time. You don't have to worry about it. Uh, you don't have to worry about replacing it down the line. You don't have to worry about it coming loose. If you do your part and install it properly, you don't have to worry about anything with these scope rings. I've been using them for years. They've worked for me in many different situations, many different guns, and that's why I use them. So if you guys have any questions or anything, go ahead and let me know. If you guys use Badger Ordnance, go ahead and put the comments down below or better yet, make a video about it. And until next time, later.